Well, ladies and gentlemen, the USFL has they made it. They made it halfway through the season. Surprising, right? I know. Crazy. Crazy stuff at the end of the day. Michigan Tampa Bay, we gotta start off with that. Um, you know, Tampa Bay wins this game. Tabu threw two T D passes to John Franklin, Derek Dillon. And I mean Michigan just let this game simply get away from them. I mean, you had Shea Patterson throwing for over three hundred yards. You had you had the Panthers playing efficient football. You had them playing good football. And yet they lose on a fumble. Thanks, Emmanuel Bill. Thanks for that. You know? That's good stuff right there. 27, 20, Tampa wins against Michigan. Um, Saturday was just one game. Keep in mind the Michigan Tampa Bay game was on Friday night. New Orleans, New Jersey. The honest to God game of the week, in my personal opinion, but it did turn out that way. It did not turn out that way at all. Uh, DeAndre Johnson had 252 all purpose yards as New Jersey beats New Orleans 27 to 17, and the Generals' defense was just on point. They also, you know, had Darius Victor, you know, run. You know, the Generals did run all over the place. I mean, because, I mean, Kyle Slaughter did not look good. For most of this game, he he, he, look, he looked off in that first half. He had a little second half surge, but unfortunately, Shalom Lewini picked him off twice in this game, and that's not a recipe for success that you want right now. You not you don't want that. New Orleans they suffer an L right there. Sunday was two games. Um, Philadelphia just let this game against Birmingham slip away from them. They had. Paul Terry and Matt Colburn, you know, running it up on the Stallions at first, but then, you know, Jamar Smith, you know, does it again, along with Alex McGough tossing a TD, but Smith with two TDs, one rushing, one passing, they also could, the Stars couldn't stop C.J. Marable either, he had 114 yards and a TD as well, and I mean, you know, Philadelphia had this game, I mean, it's just plain and simple, they had it. And then they lost it, you know. Gotta get, gotta get, you can't just, you know, disappear on offense. Where was Case Cook this entire game? He really didn't do too much. He really didn't, he really didn't do too much to warrant, you know, anything this game. So, somebody, something's gotta give for the Stars, you know. That's, it's not a loss you want. You want some production for the running game. You got it. But you need everything else. You need all three phases to step up. And unfortunately, the defense just could not stop the Stallions when it mattered. And the passing game was just not there for the Stars either. And then Pittsburgh-Houston, which just ended about, I don't know, maybe like 40 minutes ago or so. By the time you're seeing this, Bad Lee got the start for the Ballers. And he lifts them over top. Two TD passes to Bailey Gaither, including the game winner. Huge, huge W for the Ballers. The Ballers are finally in the win column. Houston, once again, has blown another lead. Clayton Thorson, he played well. You know, he had an injury to his right hand, I believe, but it didn't matter. That did not matter. When this gambler's defense continues to gamble and lose by not playing defense, you know, when they need to be playing defense, because, I mean, again, that's like the third or fourth straight game that they let a game slip away from them. They got to do better. You got to do better, guys. You got to do something better. Anything's better than nothing, and this is just sad. And, you know, we move on to week six, you know, where we have a interesting slate of Saturday and Sunday games, you know, because, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just sad. It's just it's just real sad, you know, like, what, what, like, well, like, what now? What now, huh? What now? Huh? What now for the USFL? What now? You know, made it halfway through the season and everything, you know, now, and the standings are looking kind of nice. They're looking, they're looking kind of nice right now, you know? They're looking kind of nice. Everything is shaping up. To where I think you know things, things are gonna get interesting in the final five weeks of the season. Everybody has a win now, 
you know, remember top two teams from both divisions get to go to the USFL playoffs, the semifinals out in Canton, Ohio, and, you know, the races are on now. Everybody's got to win. Everybody's in the hunt. Teams need to do something to stop New Jersey and Birmingham right now, I think, because they've cemented themselves as the top two teams in the league. You know, you got teams in other tiers like Tampa Bay, Philadelphia, Houston, New Orleans, you know, still in a weird place. Then you got Michigan and Pittsburgh, even though Pittsburgh got their first win, you still, those two teams there, Michigan and Pittsburgh, they're still in a weird place right now where I just don't, I still think they're the bottom two teams in this league. And, you know, again, I mean, Michigan has plenty of problems. I mean, Pittsburgh also has problems because, I mean, they've had several starting quarterbacks at this point. And, but, I mean, hey, whatever gets you to W, gets you to W. And that's good stuff right there. And keep in mind, all these USFL games have been pretty close, too. That's another thing. They've all been pretty close, and I like that. I like that a lot, so... Let's keep that up for week six. Can't wait to see y'all on Friday to talk. USFL week number six. We'll see if there's any other news, you know, coming in. But for now, I will see you all in a few hours to talk this week in indoor football. See you soon, everybody.